We are so close to Championship Sunday. So close to raising a new banner high up over Champions Field. Only 12 teams remain fighting for that honor. And to kick it all off today, two teams that are very, very different. On one side, you've got rookies, brothers, who continue to make history day after day. And on the other side, World Championship veterans. Over 1,300 days since Arsenal took Space Station Gaming to Sunday in Madrid. The last World Championship before Nina properly arrived. It's Saturday, so fire! once said offense sells tickets but defense wins championship and you've seen the defense from rule one over the last two events but space station here at worlds has stuck with them statistically we are in for a battle for top eight uh, teammates mentioned it lj number one in points right now are up there near the top but that's because he's number one in saves so many shots lj's been able to keep out but lj really is the heart of the Space Station offense as well. You really look towards LJ for the shooting, shooting 32% so far here for Space Station. He's got to come up big against this Rule 1 defense. You saw it in spring. You've seen it so far at Worlds. They've been able to stop even the best attackers. Gonna have to keep the MVPs at bay. Roas was the spring major defensive MVP. And now oh. we see some flip reset. You got it! And there's gonna be the rebound! Reset open up the way. And there's the offense from rule one. Killers able to put a double flip reset towards the net, and then Mostyn putting it on target. And rule one striking first in the first 40 seconds. And there's that Mina MVP. Killers with a huge play there, but then also Arsenal not able to get that ball safely out to the corner. Now the offense showing some different looks. Coxter's third man cheating up very far. It's a pinch towards net. Oh. And Killers oh, was been able to keep it out! You thought the last man was able to make the save, but what happened here on the rotation for Rule 1? Just got caught out with the challenge from LJ. It comes off for Wasp as well. Killers trying to get packed, but just can't in time. And Space Station find a response. It's always so seductive trying to go for those challenges right off the wall, but those pinches can haunt you either way. Now we see Mostyn up. Mostyn was an impact player for Rule 1 yesterday against Twisted Minds. Arsenal faking the touch. Seeing if he can get a rebound off the defense. Mostyn pinching it upfield further, going for the goal. LJ hitting it off to the side. Seeing a lot of possession, a lot of control coming out from Rule 1 and stopping Space Station on these clears. They're back in possession here for Was hunting on the back wall. That's everyone from Space Station trying to get back. Rule 1 looking Trying to pierce through the corners. And this could be him, Austin. His shot's denied as Space Station trying to hang on. Space Station's defense being tested here. See Austin in reverse quite a bit. Four half living out. Another crazy hit there. It's, it's gonna go in. What are these freak touches from Rule 1? And, and, and despite the freak nature, Space Station are able to capitalize on top of that's just so it's unlucky. It's Ross again. It comes off for Ross, and Ross is just trying to react to it in time, and you can see some of the players there on Rule 1 talking about it. They know some of these goals are just not normal Rocket League, and unfortunately, that's how it goes. And there was a timeout yesterday. We got to hear from Snasky during that pause. And Snasky had mentioned nerves. And it really did seem like Rule 1 was struggling with nerves yesterday. And already you can see a couple of these plays from Rawas maybe having uh, nerves be a factor once more. And you're starting to see that Space Station offense churning through the corners and those passes out. How many great passing plays have we seen on a domestic level from Space Station throughout their regionals? They brought that to the international land as well. As Rule 1 feeling the pressure, right clear from Rawas. Oxer collected. Trying to dribble up his own back wall. We'll find LJ, who takes it airborne. Arsenal waiting for a pass. It never comes. Killer's now up. His double flip reset. Paved the way earlier. Now poking off the backboard. 
LJ clears it long. Arsenal chasing it down. And Mawson will tip it up. LJ going for it. Demo out of the air. See if Space State can capitalize. No, it looks like they'll have to bail out now. Rawas, the shot. Tip back from Arsenal. You see the pass was intentional there. Two Hawks are giving space over to LJ. But look how fast Mawson's up. Here comes Arsenal trying to put it under, trying to barrel through. Killer's under pressure. A Space Station trying to barrel through and they can't. LJ looking for space at the top of the box in Rule 1, having to field that Space Station pressure. They've done so well, but still a one goal deficit here with a minute 40 on the clock. And Rule 1, they like to bait in teams, and there's the shot! Oh! oh it keeps on going and picks up the rebound! Even with the touch from Hoxer, Mustin pushes through from the save, and we're tied up here in Game 1. And that is the Rule 1 gameplay that you expected. Soak in all that pressure. Give Space Station the opportunity to overextend, and then catch them while they're out. Rule 1, able to tie things up. We'll see if they can hold on. Both these teams have held their opponents to an 18% shooting percentage. They've been the best two defenses here at Worlds so far. And honestly, seeing two goals apiece go in has been shocking here in Game 1. A couple of freak goals from Space Station have given them two. Rule 1 have certainly had to earn theirs. We're knotted into the final minute. Might get another one here. Rawaz! Oh, it's oh, Killers, but killers! Was thinking, surely, <laughs> if I redirect this, there's no way they save it. But somehow, Space Station did it. And you gotta give credit to Hawks for getting a piece of that one on the redirect. Despite what happened with Rule 1, he's able to make the save, keep it tied. But here comes Rule 1 again, and another save comes out from Arsenal. Rule 1 ramping up, but no one there across the box. Still, Killer's looking for help as Hawkster is here to collect. You can see the panic there from Space Station, very wide defensively, the net vulnerable for long streaks of time. They still manage to get out. Now, the attack oncoming once more. LJ doesn't make contact. Mawson moving in now. Pass. It's baited, and there was the pass to net. He missed. It, it looked to be briefly open. Maybe somebody from Rule 1 would have been able to get back. Regardless, the shot not on target. And here comes Killers. Demos comes out, and Arsenal has to make the save. Rule 1 have been on the goal line multiple times, but they haven't been able to break through. Final chance. Killers shut down. There's a high lob. LJ out of boost will go for the corner and does manage to get it to the ground. The expectation has been met in game one. You knew this one was going to be close. Tied up overtime. And rule one, they've been oh so close to ending this game. Must have been trying to land on it. That one goes wide as Space Station looks for a way out. And if you're a fan of rule one and you watch Boston, you can expect lots of overtimes. Almost half of their games in Boston went to overtime. We find ourselves here once more. They're looking for any mistake coming out from Space Station. Poking, prying at that SSG defense. Mostyn wants to text his luck, and he's uh -oh. not going to come up with the ball. Still in possession for Rule 1, as Space Station very passive defensively. Rawas with a bit of space. Mostyn up, oh, up, uncontested. Goes for the double tap pass, but Rawas wasn't expecting it. Killers tries to move in and buy some time. There's a hit downfield. Arsenal back pass. The give and go. The shot from Hawkser was going to be high and wide. Now LJ picks up the mid boost. Goes for the solo play. Bumped off the ball. Space Station trying to ramp up their offense. You could see the space was opened up from the demo. It felt like Space Station had one more pass in them on the counter, though. This one off the back wall. Killer's already up. Needs help from Rawas. And back to the SSG uh -oh, side. Big, they go. Big. That's a big miss from Hawkser, and he's just panicking. It lands in the lap of Arsenal, who taps it away. I've seen that a few times from Space Station. Low boost. Bit of panic. They're not able to get the clean touch. Austin trying to mix things up. Killers to the sidewall. Arsenal, that's all he can do. Out of boost. LJ bumped off the ball again. Every time LJ's trying to take it to the air, rule one bump, bumps him off the play. Loss trying to push through. Killers is there. Shot on target. And game one goes to rule one. Rule one hanging in there. And you can see Killers having a huge impact this game. The flip reset opening up. That goal for them, and then in overtime, mixing it up downfield. Enough for his teammates to move in and finish the job. Nine saves on Space Station, six on the side of Rule 1. 12 shots for Space Station, 11 from Rule 1. Very close in the first game of this series. And you felt like Rule 1, though, they've been 
pressing against Space Station for most of that first game. It just felt like that Space Station defense, for all the pressure they felt, were able to turn away Rule 1. They were quite a few times, but then there were some times where the rotations were so wide, the net was left pretty vulnerable, leaving Space Station lunging multiple times. A few times, they weren't able to make contact on the ball. And, you know, for, for Space Station, they're going to have to figure something out offensively as well. Those two goal, two of the goals they had were just yeah. freak touches from Rawas. It's how many of those are you going to get for Space Station. Of course, they, they don't plan on that, and they certainly didn't force it. But for Rule 1, you know that those two goals that they gave up to Space Station were just some errant touches, right? They, they weren't yeah. aiming to do so. It wasn't a, a huge mistake for them. So for Space Station Gaming, you have to generate that offense. Like we said, they had 12 shots here in this game and they could not generate enough offense to outscore Rule 1. And, and you know, we, we saw LJ. LJ, who's that big offensive firepower weapon for Space Station. Every time he tried to take that ball airborne, somebody from Rule 1 was able to land a bump to make sure he did not have that space and did not have that play. So we'll see if Space Station can get their offense going. <laughs> for, all, for everything we've seen from Rule 1, it has been spectacular defensively. You saw a lot of not demos, but bumps coming out from Rule 1. That's a double tap oh! drop down from Hawkster to start things off. Hawkster, we see ya. Again, LJ's bumped off the ball, but this time, instead of trying to do it himself, he passes things off to Hawkster. And that's the offense we're looking for if you're Space Station Gaming. You've got great weapons on the side of Space Station. You didn't see it much in Game 1. Hawkster, the new pickup, comes in hot and produces here in game two. Oxer was that missing piece for Space Station. It's hard to believe thinking back. Well, hold on, LJ will add to the tally. And that's the man you want shooting at your Space Station. We mentioned it before, over 30% putting away his shots and right in front of everyone, he's able to place it to the left side in a quick lead for Space Station. And Austin wanting to control that possibly ended up popping it up high in the air. You need to keep that ball on the ground and close. Space Station getting one there. Will we see another one? LJ, the flip reset going into a bump. Mostyn trying to catch Hawkser out, but Hawkser far enough back to make that stop. And now the pressure on Rule 1. We've seen the offense, we've seen the control from them near the end of game one. You've got to get back to that style of play. You've corralled Space Station into their own end multiple times. Got to up the conversion rate if you're Rule 1. There's a nice pass. The Ooh. shot will be off the bar. Rawas has really picked up the slack for Rule 1 offensively up to this point. Slippery said, and a follow-up is there from LJ. He's going to put it home. It's a three-goal lead for Space Station. And Space Station finally starting to figure it out. Arsenal setting up Hoxer, the flip reset. It didn't score. But again, it's about beating that defensive line and that's exactly what Hawkster's play did. LJ able to move up and pick up that easy goal. So just over a minute in to game two, Space Station, we asked for it and we've certainly got it here. The offense has switched into a different gear and Rule 1 trying to adapt to what Space Station's putting on. Here comes LJ again. He gets over one and his killers eventually gets the touch and looking for a clear is Rule 1, but it's Space Station who's picked up the pace. It seems like the comms, the planning, much better for Space Station. They're passing the ball off, generating those chances, and I didn't think that ball even had a chance of going in. Well, he didn't hit it that hard, and Hawkster's clear across. No one got a piece of it. It was LJ who picked it away from the defense. Arsenal able to put away his shot. And you talk about the intangibles that Arsenal brings. You saw in the video right before this game, how much energy he has at every single land. And his teammates, all of his teammates, have said that they feed off of it. And you're seeing it now oh. as Rule 1 trying to return the favor. LJ's number one in saves for a reason. Getting down there, denying the shot from Rule 1. Another pass off the corner, and LJ back <laughs> again. He's everywhere. A maniac on the field for Space Station. Rule 1, they don't have an answer. They don't have the trump card. Another save comes out from Space uh -oh. Station. This one's over the head. Arsenal. He can't get up to it either. Didn't have enough <laughs> boost and everyone awkward. Space Station happy to let that one go as they're up four. Uh, just looking, glancing over, it looked like Arsenal might have been on zero. Yeah, he had no boost. The roll one spared there. But there is a double commit defensively. Hoxer 
We'll roll it up the wall. Arsenal already airborne. Demo from behind. The pass finds nobody thanks to that demo. Rule one now in a 2v1. Rawas, first touch, pass was shut down. Rebound out to Mawson, but his 50's no good. The shot needed to be better. <laughs> Defense bending and not breaking for Space Station. And, and you got to hand it to Rule one. It's creative, it's great attacks. But at the last second, James, an orange player streaks across the screen to deny Rule one. Now this one's off the post. As Mawson very carefully is oh. trying to take this one out. Another one off the corner, and somehow Rule one prevent the fifth from going through. This game is getting a bit out of hand. Space Station, a four goal lead. Rule one, they had a couple chances, but LJ has been spectacular making two saves that didn't look possible. LJ, high lob across the field. Hawksers waiting on the wall. First touch control. Now going for a 50. LJ will bail out of the play. Rawas into an air dribble. The 50 goes back. Hawkser oh. back pass, but no one's ready for it. LJ Everyone's panicking. Hawkser has to stay on the play. Still, things not looking good for Space Station. This is the chance for Rule 1. Can they strike now when everyone's discombobulated on the goal line? And Rule 1 finally breaks through. And that was all because of the Eric back pass. Hawkser trying to pass it back. Nobody was there. And Space Station just didn't recover. So a response for Rule 1, it's taken them a mighty long time to break through, even with the offense that we've seen. Can they make a miracle comeback now in Game 2 with just over a minute left? Also have to keep Space Station from scoring again, and LJ has a nice setup here, lots of boost. Going for the solo play on the back flip 50. Hawkser back down to the ground, the double tap, rebound, Arsenal, open net goal! Tap in for Arsenal here, and again, Space Station taking advantage of the wall, and again, it's Hawkser making the play happen, whether he's the shooter or the passer. Massive impact from Hawkser, setting up his teammates, and a tap in for Arsenal gives Space Station five. And what a different game this was in game two. That first game, Space Station getting a little bit of help thanks to some crazy touches from Rawas that ended up shooting right back at Rule 1's net. But this game, Space Station, they took matters into their own hands. LJ dodging, well, not even dodging the bump attempt, but he got bumped, dished it off to Hoxer. Hoxer started out the game with that crazy double tap. Just shows you how much of a difference Hoxer can make in a game when he's on. Well, and you talked, you heard from the desk leading into this game, how mechanical Rule 1 is. And it's certainly true. I feel like Space Station have done a great job of shutting down the solo plays, even when the opportunity is there for Rule 1. Space Station have made a lot of goal line saves in the box, high aerial saves that have prevented Rule 1 from looking super dangerous here. As the time just ticks down, Space Station knows they've got this one in the bag. They certainly do. Many factors playing into this Space Station win. We saw LJ, fantastic saves, but it was the team effort on offense that put Space Station over the top. Rough game for Rule 1. You know they're much better than this. This is the same team that went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Vitality in that Spring Major. And LJ, just taking a peek at his scoreline, 734 points here. Three saves on four shots and two goals. Everyone getting a piece of the pie here from Space Station. And two assists as well, but you're right. You just look at the, the numbers on Space Station's side, everybody racking up the points. Hoxer, though, really started the game off on that right foot with that double tap, thanks to the pass from LJ. So Rule 1 landing those bumps on LJ, recognizing that he is that solo play threat. But, but what they didn't expect this game was the team effort from Space Station. And it's, it's interesting to even say that now, you know, after the, the drop of Daniel for Space Station. Nobody really had a lot of faith in this team. They felt like he was the heart of this team, and, and maybe to a degree he was, but this pickup from Hawkster, it made some waves, James, but I don't think it's made enough now seeing what we've got from Space Station. They've really come together as a team, and, and the sum of the parts is much greater now, and I feel like for Space Station, they've really proved a lot of people wrong with how great they've played at this world, so when you pick up the right player, and in any system, you're going to improve and you're going to have better results, and that's exactly what the spring has shown. I mean, we've seen that before with great teams in history like Method and Complexity, where they just add that extra team play factor. 
And really, you're right, Space Station was supposed to implode after losing Daniel, but with Hoxter, they've reached new height. How high can they go? And will they be able to get by Rule 1? There's an infield. There it is. Pillars responds. Rule 1 scores first. That's the response you need after a rough game two. Rule 1, right off the rip, is able to slice through the defense there. LJ gave a lot of space, and you can't do that against Rule 1. And an early goal. Great connection there by the Twins. You saw Rawas holding that on the dribble. Killers was so close to him as, as well. Being able to pull off that play in a tight space, it's not easy. And on the flip side, you know, for Rule 1, that is a lot of the offense there, the Twins. Rawas and Killers combining, pushing downfield, and just the mechanics alone individually and their powers combined. Something to behold here on the Rocket League stage. And Rule 1 certainly showing it off there. Now here comes Mossin. He wants his name mentioned. This one oh! was high. Killers was there, and Space Station felt like they were beat. And Arsenal couldn't get a handle on the ball on the counterattack. Hoxter will go high. Killers will boom it right back. Hoxter leaving it for Arsenal. Arsenal right to Killers. Killers getting help oh my. for a team pinch. Tries to follow it up, but LJ's there once more. How can you beat LJ? He's coming off the backboard. He's off the goal line. Here comes LJ now. On Whoa! offense! Strikes through the heart of Rule 1! LJ makes his save on one end, jets downfield, and bangs it up for 90. Killers was wow. ready and waiting, but that shot had too much power. Getting it done on, on defense, getting it done on offense. Space Station back in game three now. The Lawson Killers trying to work together again. But Hoxter cuts out the lane. Austin, you get a flip reset. Tough to say. Ball still loose up high in Space Station's half. Ball out to the middle now. Austin will approach it slowly. Quick flick. Setting up Killers, oh. but Arsenal jumps the lane. Great passing from Rule 1. You can see the control. And Space Station, they're giving them a lot of space to set up these attacks. It's just the counter that they, they're getting beat on in a lot of cases. But Rule 1, it's beautiful setup. That final shot is still being denied by the Space Station defense. Space Station trying to keep this game close. A contested. Is up airborne flip reset shot. Hit out to the corner by Arsenal. How many air, uncontested aerials and lock balls in the box of Space Station are we going to see? Rule 1 have got to capitalize on it. Space Station are giving them the space to work. But if Rule 1 don't capitalize, perhaps we'll see more of that from Space Station. Ooh. There's a flick from LJ. Rawas, panic took straight up. Killers be able to clear it downfield. Arsenal trying to keep the ball in play. Speed from LJ. There's a pinch all the way across the field. Hoxter will be first to it. Now a chance for Hoxter to do some damage. Going for the shot. Whoa. Austin saving it to the corner. Great save from Rule 1. It felt like almost everyone was beat there. But right at the last second, making the goal line save. And now they're trying to carve their way out. The Wasp will push LJ back in. The line will move, be moved up for Rule 1. Here comes Hoxter. Goes under and beats him to the net. We have to get another look at this one. Hoxter sets himself up with a high shot. Sees Mostyn on the, on the challenge, but slotted it underneath them. Mostyn, I am sure, is surprised that ball made it through. And that's the threat of the offense. Hoxter had options. He could have picked it up into an air dribble. He could have put it in a different direction. He chose under the defender. Great work and choice by Hoxer, who's been stellar in this series so far. Hoxer, player who had to fill Daniel's shoes. Now LJ oh. going for a double tap! He's everywhere. LJ again strikes, and look at the space. A double tap is perfect. And a 3-1 lead for Space Station. Rule 1 sent 2, still couldn't stop him. Space Station, they are looking good in Game 3. LJ, trying to get that flip to force it through. Hoxer, looking for Arsenal. Arsenal, Arsenal there. there for the shot, but it's weak. Another scoring chance, though. Another opportunity. Now Rule 1 on the dribble. Looking for a response time, certainly ticking down here as LJ's going to put it away. Space Station, magical down the field. 
LJ, he steals the boost. He's oh. ready for it, but that Arsenal. pass was right to him. <laughs> Beautiful second touch from Arsenal. And again, you could see LJ, the way he was positioned, he was expecting it. He knew it was coming. Arsenal, no, no doubt, called that out. And now a 4-1 lead for Space Station. They have taken over game three, and what was a great start for Rule 1 has turned into a disaster here in game three. And Arsenal, right after that play, he goes and gets a double bump. Rule 1, starting to step on each other's toes a bit. We've seen this before from Rule 1. Offensively, sometimes they just can't seem to put it together. Another second touch by Arsenal. Rule 1. Kind of allowing Space Station in there. Looking for the counterattack, and again, another double tap, as it's tough for Rule 1 to deal with. And Space Station have kept it awkward. Arsenal trying to go himself. Killers will deny, and Rule 1 needs to march here in the final 30 seconds. Oh, Hawks are jumping early. Doesn't get caught out, though. Mustin tried to take the quick shot, seeing that Hawks are jumped. But Hawks recovers in time. Now, going for the solo play. Hawks oh, by. <laughs> It's a free play session for Hoxer. So much space. And Rule 1 haven't had the answer here in Game 3. Space Station, almost like they've gone to a different gear here in this tournament, not just in this series. Another shot is denied. But time ticks down and Space Station in full control. Space Station, another dominant performance. They take down Rule 1 in Game 3 and they are racking up the goals. This is not what you expected, Rule 1 no. defensively was untouchable, it seemed, in Boston. And now, Space Station, they're running up the scoreline. Right, this was the team that took a Vitality to three overtimes, had that 12-minute and two-second overtime in Boston. Known for their defense, known for grinding out these games, known for grinding out the series on an international level. And, and trust me, we could get there here in this series. As you can see, a timeout coming out from Rule 1, and you can see their coach certainly talking to the boys there, trying to figure out what's been going wrong. How do we slow down LJ, who has just been up and down the field? A track beat for him, and he's the only one running. Yeah, I mean, LJ, a hat trick this game, but him and Hawks are combining. They, they have been so good. Hawks are hit the double tap at the beginning of last game. LJ in this game hitting a nasty double tap himself. Hawks are his, you said he was in a free play session. You can tell how confident Hoxer is playing and, how, and Space Station as a whole really vibing. You can tell that they are in the zone right now. And, and that's the scary part, right? You have a player like Arsenal who's been to four World Championships at this point, and you've got a guy who, you know, is known for his energy. He's the type of guy who's going to sprint downhill, right? When they get going, he just gets faster. And I feel like for Space Station, that's exactly what's happened here. They've got their offense going. The defense, I will say, James, has been spectacular, but they've had to hang on by a thread. Let's not count out the offense here from Rule 1. They have certainly put on a dangerous attack. It's just been Space Station at the last second making those saves. And a lot of times, LJ at the last second making those saves yeah. in particular. But we did see one glimmer of hope there for Rule 1. It was the play between the twins. Rawas had the ball on a dribble. Kill Killers was right behind him. They connected on the flip pass to score near post. We need to see more of that synergy if Rule 1 wants to get back in the series. Absolutely. It's just that synchronization on offense. It's there, but they need that final piece, right? They need to, they need to cut the tape right at the end there. And for Rule 1, definitely a lot to talk about. Confidence, I'm sure, from Sad Jr. Space Station. Looking good so far in this series, but they're only up a single game. And an opportunity here off the timeout for Rule 1 to rebound. LJ off the ceiling. Going for the 50. Hoping a rebound will leak out to a teammate. Arsenal back down. Hoxer snagged that corner. LJ will possess it. LJ has Hoxer waiting, but ended up Lobbing that towards the net, easily controlled by Rawas, who's bumped off the ball now, moving in to take his place as Killers. Killers, the 50, back to Mawson. Mawson controlling it, was shooting for the top corner, but LJ again there for the save. And, and then a piece of the offense on the counter as well, somehow making the save, and then the Mantown field to convert into the counter attack. And 
lucky or good from rule one now to actually slow that down and still scoreless here in the first 50 seconds. Killers trying to tap it to the backboard. LJ, the back line of LJ, tough to beat. LJ also getting around Moss in the 50 from Rawas. LJ, will he keep going? Hoxer comes streaking in, but maybe he needed to leave him some space. Arsenal clears it out to the side, but still, numbers advantage for Rule 1 until that clear comes out. And you felt like Rule 1 had an opportunity to clamp down. LJ will put away his 38th of the World Championship and Space Station into the lead. You can see Rawas stuck there, not sure what to do. You can see his car language indecisive. And that was coming off an opportunity from Rule 1. They just had LJ and Hawkster double commit. They had Arsenal dead to right. But then Space Station managed to turn it around. And with that 38th goal, LJ now tied for third for most goals at a World Championship event. Or at a land ever, rather, excuse me. Tied with Justin. And he's one behind Vatira, who's sitting at two. And there's still a lot of tournament left to play. <laughs> We've been singing his praises, and for good reason. He's been getting the job done for Space Station. Here he comes again. He's got no more boost. Needs help. Arsenal's there. Rule one, streaking across to make the save and the touches to throw off Space Station. But here comes LJ again, off the ceiling. Second touch, all the way down. He still, somehow, is able to get through. LJ cannot be stopped. Off the ceiling, hovers behind the ball. Mawson does his best. But gets beat again. 39 for LJ. Second most goals scored at any LAN event ever. It's Rise who holds that record at 54. A long way to go. And LJ, with the way he's been playing, he might come close. LJ having an incredible series. Now it's a 2v1. What can LJ do here? Oh, he can shut him down. Just went straight into it. He knew Rawas wanted to bring that one down, trying to use his mechanical skill to beat the defense. But Space Station just says, no way. We're just going to go straight on through. And here comes Hawkster. He's trying to lob it on target. Rule 1 able to break out. Rawas up. Shooting opportunity here. Going low for Bows. And finally manages to beat LJ. And that's a good look from Rule 1 on the counter. They've been trying to get this going. But this time it's Space Station with the bad touch. Rawas slots it to the right side. And LJ this time, he can't stretch across. Rule 1 gets one back. That is exactly where he needed to place it. Recognizing LJ up, racing along the backboard. Perfect shot there with pace. Everything that you could ask for from Rawas, he delivers there. So Rule 1 are able to break through. Plenty of time left on the clock to make the comeback here. Only a goal difference. They've certainly been on the doorstep multiple times. This is a chance now. Pass across and Killers wasn't there to receive. The hard pinch across. Hoxer actually misses the ball. Mostyn will lob it up, getting all the boost. It's going to be tough for Space Station. They're low. Hoxer. Trying to control it to the corner. That dangerously going across net. LJ was hoping to get a corner boost himself. And it clear there from Hoxer. Killers up to his brother. Back to oh! Killers in the get and go works perfectly. That's the connection you're looking for. Rawas and Killers combine. Downfield, a little give and go to the box of Space Station. And again, it's the perfect shot that's required to break through and Rule 1 tie it up. That is the synergy that we've been expecting. We've seen a few glimpses and we see it once more there. And, and James, you're right, it's been there. This In every game that we've seen, the synergy's there for Rule 1. It's, it's been a lot of that Space Station defense that you've had to give the credit over to. But now Rule 1 painting the corners of the net. This one off the crossbar and in. Killers with the third. Lady Luck on the side of Rule 1 this time. And it's Pillars who's able to get there and power that right through. And that has to feel good for Rule 1 to finally have something go your way after those earlier plays. After those two goals given up in Game 1, they came off Rawas and set up Space Station in an awkward spot. Now you find yourself in the lead here. You get your offense going. You beat Space Station three times now in this game. Feels like they might need one more. 
As less than a minute is left on the clock. Oh, Hawkster threatening there. Mostyn got the biggest clear. Right back to the middle of the field. The killers doing work trying to get this out. LJ back on the ball, going for a 50 again. Rebound out, and there's the goal from Arsenal! LJ will not be denied across the net, even with two in front of him. Mustin and Rawas are just trying to get this one out, and Rawas had the flip, but Arsenal was quicker, and an equalizer found for Space Station. Arsenal has been picking up the trash in front of net, and LJ so deadly. We seem to even score on those, where he's just hovering behind the ball, trying to break down the defense. There's going to be a long shot that's saved. We have only 30 seconds left to play. We're all tied up. Number one's been methodical in their attack. And uh -oh. this is a mistake. It's on uh -oh. in. Is that enough power? No. Arsenal able to clear it away, but Rule 1 trying to clamp down. Here comes Killers off the backboard. One more will do, but it's LJ on the clear, and he combines with Hoxer. Hoxer racing by the ball. Mostyn trying to be slowed down by LJ. Killers has Rawas in the middle. Killers going for the bump, but it's dodged by Arsenal, and it's going down to the ground. Overtime once more. 3-3 is the score in game four. Rule one have been ramping up throughout, and this one towards net. Space Station tested early here in the first 10 seconds. Arsenal facing down the ball, trying to catch Killers out. Hoxter not able to steal the corner. Arsenal will live it up. Gets the demo on Killers, who had just picked up that corner, giving space and possession Pass. to Space Station. Oh, Arsenal was there. He wanted it more to the left. And a great cut by Rule 1, predicting that pass, seeing it all the way. Uh-oh. There's it's a demo as well. That touch from LJ, so critical. And he just didn't have boost to follow it up. He picked it up eventually, but he couldn't keep his momentum. And Rule 1 able to get out of a rough time here, but Arsenal Still trying to attack. A flip reset towards LJ and take it on a shot. Rawas denies. Oxer trying to push through, but it's still in the hands of Space Station. LJ. That first touch control up the wall was bonkers. LJ. He's feeling it right now. There's a demo. There's the goal. Space Station hit roll one with a space laser. A second touch roll from Arsenal will do, and he's trying to clear it out, and he certainly finds one. Hoxer to put it home and Space Station put Rule 1 on match point. And there is no timeout. No timeout for Rule 1. They're going to have to keep on rolling. And LJ Hoxter Arsenal, another team effort. Everybody putting at least one goal in this game. Everybody contributing with an assist. Everybody having a save. Space Station as a team are doing everything that is required. It, one of the most cohesive looks we've seen from Space Station, and at least with this iteration of the roster. And the offense, undeniable, and, and you gotta see on your screen there who just assisted, it's LJ, who has just been spectacular in the shooting department, in the scoring department. He's been at the top of the screen in every single one of Space Station's games so far, it feels like. But, you can't do any wrong. And, and you also, you, you cannot discount the, that last play as well. Arsenal, I believe, was the one who got the demo. Arsenal, traditionally one of the top demoers in the world. And in that critical moment in overtime, Arsenal landing that demo to pave the way. You can look at so many of Space Station's plays and, and pay credit to all the players individually for these moments where they're stepping up. And a lot of times, it's not just the solo play. Sure, we've seen some of those from LJ, but they are making incredible individual efforts to set up yep. their teammates for success. It's a lot of misdirection coming out from Space Station. We talked about the second touches and the slow plays in the corner. That's really where Space Station have been collecting their dues. And Rule 1 backs against the wall here in game five. Five minutes on the clock, and they survive against one of NA's finest. Will rule one season end here, or will we see another game? That's a good start for Waz! Perfect pass from Killers. That's one, and just like the previous, rule one are able to strike first. Rawas and Killers combining again. And once again, James, in the first minute, a good look and a good start for rule one. And that's the success we've seen from Rule 1 has come from those two working together. The passing plays between Rawas and Killers. 
But now LJ, oh, it's hit into their own net. Gillers was trying to clear this out to the corner and needed to because LJ, he was oh. going to force another rebound. And what a touch from LJ. And you could see, as you were describing, the last man just, just panicking, right? He comes off the post and you're just trying to get it out. And in that panic, you've put it on your own net. Gillers demoing Hoxter. Backward pass, LJ's up, awkward ball, but still gets in the path. Marty, you had the go-ahead goal in rule one, and now you're equalized once again. You've been trying to slow down this Space Station offense, and you've been trying to ramp your offense up. It's been there the entire series for rule one. This one's awkward for Hoxer. He's under some fire here. He tries to get out, and he does. He beats two. Now it's Arsenal. It's just Mostyn back. Killer's trying to chase Arsenal into the corner. He does find a couple pieces of him. No demo comes out. He's still T-boning him. Hoxer gets thrown <laughs> downfield. It's still LJ. All of the Space Station players are getting bullied off the ball, and yet they hold control. A second touch! A worldie from LJ! Arsenal! Space Station as a whole, they do not give up! The back pass from Arsenal after he was... <laughs> He was fighting in the trenches. You could see no clear came out. You'll wonder why. It was because Arsenal was driving shoulder to shoulder with Rule 1 to make sure they couldn't get the clear. And that is why Space Station is succeeding. They are battling in the trenches, and they are coming out on top. They're even being bumped off the ball multiple times by multiple different players. Space Station somehow put it together, and who else but LJ to double tap that one in. Still though, roll one, there is only a one goal gap. They can get back into it. We've seen Rawas and Killers connect with multiple passing plays. They all need another one here. Will Mostyn be able to step up? Mostyn, oh! LJ. Looked like there was a demo! What a save! A huge save! Rawas, there's a reason he was the defensive MVP in Mostyn. Oh, what a save for Rawas. When all hope was lost, he comes up. And he keeps it within one, but Rule 1 have got to find the offense, especially in this midfield. It's been all Space Station. And the clears with no boost from a Wasp just go right back in the hands of Space Station. Hoxer off the ceiling, perhaps hoping for a pass out to the middle. It's still leaked out to LJ. Now Arsenal back down to the ground, getting dunked on by Rawas, but LJ at the midfield to boom it back in. Very controlled here from Space Station. Flip reset will do. LJ just keeping it awkward on the Rule 1 side, and that's really been where Space Station have been making it life rough for Rule 1. Here's an opportunity. That one's high. Needs follow up. One more. No one's there for Rule 1. Everyone going back for boost. And Rawas had made LJ jump by threatening the bump. Now a chance for Rawas. That one shot to go, but it's saved by LJ. Gillard trying to get this back into the middle. Rebound out. Shot opportunity. Oh, it's what a shot! In. Austin with a shot, perfectly far post, upper 90. Paints the corner. And roll one, find the equalizer. Look at this shot, perfectly placed. And Mostyn fighting back for rule one. Mostyn has left his mark on this series with that one. Mostyn again. Pop up, taken over by Killers. Killers has that go to the corner. Ruas had committed on the play. Hoxter, forcing Rawas to jump. Arsenal, looking for the bump. You could tell right away, as soon as Arsenal touches the ball, considers leaving it to go for the bump. What a pass here for Killers. This one coming across. Rule one. Snaking into the box of Space Station. And Space Station somehow are able to turn them away so many times here. And now they're on the attack. Arsenal trying to dunk it through. Ars or Hoxer, excuse me, gets demoed. Now Killers has an open net. No one can get back in time. Rule one in the lead. Beautiful demo by Mostyn. You can see Mostyn demoing Hoxer, who's barreling in for that 50. And Killers wastes no time immediately putting that shot on target. This game, Mostyn has stepped up for rule one. A minute 20 on the clock to get to your next game if you're rule one, and it's all that matters now. You have to take it game by game. You've done enough for the lead. And now you've got to hang on, and we know they oh, can. Shot. But here comes LJ again. No one in net, and the equalizer found.
Oh, and you can see a Rawas. It looks like he was trying to take the ball up the wall and actually hit Killers, who was sitting there on the wall, and no one expected Mostyn flying by the ball. And that has to be frustrating for Rule 1. So now, tied up in Game 5. Killers trying to make amends. This one comes off the back wall. Booming clear from Space Station. And look at the space over to Killers, but Hoxer shuts them down. Maybe took a little too long on that touch. Another great pass. Mostyn dodges one. Has Hoxer in front. Needs help from his team to break out. And Rawas is there, looking for space in the air, but he has no boost at Space Station, just pushing it away. LJ up against Killers. LJ having the defensive double tap. Rawas will look for the backward bounce. Arsenal back to the center of the field. Hoxer is waiting for it. Beats it around one defender. But Mostyn there to put it off his own backward. Rawas downfield attempt. Killers jumped, but... The ball finds its way back to Rawas, who goes for a 50. Great 50 from Rawas in the corner. He's going to keep going. Tries to bump Arsenal off the ball, but Arsenal navigates around it. Eight seconds left. Heroics are needed. Arsenal's there. Can he get the touches off the crossbar? It's dangerous. Hawks up for the win. Puts it away with one second left. Hawkster, he answers the call. When you need him most, he stepped up, and they're one kickoff away from ending this series. And there's the kickoff, and there's the series! Space Station, take Rule 1 down, and move on to the playoff! All smiles from LJ there. You know he had a great series here, and Hawks are clutch in the end. Arsenal doing his job.